Okay, we're going to cook my mum's lentil soup. So first off, hopefully you've got your pan getting nice and hot. And you just need to add about a teaspoon of oil into the pan and then straight in with your bacon lardons. And just give it a little stir around in the pan to check it's not sticking. Now I'm going to move the pan off the full heat onto the small burner and we can leave that and go and get our vegetables. Right, hopefully you've got all your vegetables ready, chopped and ready to go and your lentils that have just been rinsed. That'll just get rid of all the, the scum for it. This is such a lovely recipe, it's so, so easy to do, and just the, with the lentils, it just makes it really, really good for you as well, which is what you want from a warming soup. So we can take the vegetables, but leave your lentils, we'll put those in later. Take the vegetables over, we'll just give the bacon another little stir, Should be just starting to get a little bit of colour on the bacon. And then we can add in the vegetables straight away. I give it a little stir just to mix it through. go and we can just leave this for five minutes just to soften slightly and when you come back just have your stock ready and then all we'll do is add the stock and the lentils and see as easy as that after five minutes Okay, it's been five minutes and hopefully your vegetables have just started to soften slightly and look something like this. And now we just need to add in the rose, cho your chopped rosemary and the stock. Now, if you're anything like me, my measuring jug only holds one litre, so I've put three stock cubes in and one litre of uh, water and I'll pop that in and I'll add another 500 millilitres of water in a second so that the proportions will still be right. So, 500 millilitres of water. Oh, that's too hot. There we go. And I'll add that in as well. And I'll just leave a little bit in the bottom because there's another little tip to show you. So add in your lentils next but you'll probably find that they'll, because you've rinsed them that they'll stick slightly to the bowl. So just use the last remaining bit of water or stock just to rinse through the bowl and get all the lentils out. So just give everything a stir now and then all you need to do is bring this up to the boil and then just simmer very gently for 15 minutes and we'll be pretty much done. So when you come back after 15 minutes, just have your food processor ready or if you're like me, going to use a stick blender, have that out and plugged in. Okay, it's been simmering away for 15 minutes. Hopefully yours is looking something like this. It'll have really thickened up by now and that's the lentils will have all expanded. So we can turn the heat off and take it over to your work surface and we'll get it blended. Right. If you're like me and going to use a stick blender, that's great. If, you've gone, if you don't have one of those and going to use a food processor, just take half of it out, blend half of it, and put the, put the blended half back in to the soup. Because that way you'll have 
half blended, but you'll still have some nice bits to, to bite. So I'm using stick blender though, so we'll get on, and what you want to do is just blend half of it. Okay? There we go. So just blended and just say roughly half, you don't need to sort of measure it out. It's just so that you've still got little bits of carrot and vegetables left in it, but the whole thing should be nicely thickened up now. And you'll probably notice we haven't seasoned it yet, so we'll do that now. So add a good couple of twists of pepper, and then a nice generous pinch of salt. Remember you're making a big pot of this, so it's a nice big generous pinch of salt. And all we need to do is give that a stir in and then ladle it into the bowls. So I'll bring in the bowl. And then just ladle it in, making sure you get some bits in it. There we go. And that's it done. And try telling me that that won't warm you up on a cold winter's day. I hope you enjoy it.